I've always loved to make things. Uh, ever since I was a little girl, I always loved to make things. It's part of the way God made me. <laughs> Clay's job is not to make itself look good, but to respond to the potter. In the Bible, it says, in, in, uh, in Isaiah, it says, um, God's the potter and we're the clay, and all of us are the work of his hands. And, and then in Jeremiah, um, it says that God can do with us like a potter does with clay, that he can take something he's not pleased with, smash it down, rework it, put it back on the wheel, and make something that's pleasing to him. And I, I, God was doing that in my life. <laughs> When, when I was young. I, I returned to, to Texas uh, after working in upstate New York and in Arizona and um, actually moved into my parents' house, completely broke, and <laughs> lived in an upstairs bedroom and started making pots in my dad's garage. And it was a time of, uh, for me for seeking God. I was um, in, a, uh, in a transition in my life where um, um, letting go of a lot of things, um, a, a lot of rebellion that I grew up with. My parents were missionaries and I um, um, resented a lot of that. So that, uh, that journey, anger and rebellion will take you somewhere um, that often you don't never intended to go. And that's what happened to me. And so uh, in my life, um, Clay has always been a, uh, integral part of that journey. Um, the amazing thing is, is that he began to reveal himself through the pottery making process. Nobody is more surprised than me. Uh, that I that I do that. Uh, it's not a script I would have written for myself. So my brother, he saw me working on the wheel, and he said, "There's a lot of similarities between what you do in the Christian life. Have you thought about it?" And I thought, mm. "I've begun to really think about it. I've been looking it up in the Bible myself. Pots are mentioned throughout there, vessels, things like that." And but he said, "Rach, I got a great idea. Come come share with what you do with my with my Sunday school class. Don't you think that's great?" And I said, "No, no way. I don't want to do that at all. I don't. This is no interest for me." Uh, but when I got quiet again, um, I remembered this prayer of mine of what does it mean to trust and obey? And I felt like God was giving me an opportunity. And I thought, mm, "Do you mean it? I mean, God, do you really mean it?" And He said, "Try me." And I said, "Okay." but I'm just doing it out of obedience. I don't want to do this. But uh, that one led to another, which led to another, and, and that was 25 years ago. And I, um, I just have unsolicited invitations. So I limit my traveling to four times a month, and I'm booked into next year, completely booked through May, and I stay that way. I, I often say, um, so many pots to make and so little time. That's just where my heart is. Uh, I love it.